Hey guys, Deuterock18 here, and normally I would edit this video instead of you guys seeing me walk in here and uh, bringing my cell phone that has a timer on so it shows that in case I go over the time limit, in case I do, but probably won't, so here I am doing this video, and um, this video actually is... Um, gonna be a very sad video uh, for those of you who have been on my Facebook and got a tweet from my Twitter and see the video title of this video my father on January 7th of this year has passed away and um, it's been very hard to try and do this video because the past two nights I've been trying and wanting to do this video and it's been pretty rough and very hard on me. Um, my dad was 77 years old. Uh, he died of a single cell cancer that he's been battling for two years. The doctors Two years ago told him that he was going to probably not live that longer than two years, like nine months, and he outbeat it, and um, it happened. Uh, the story of how it happened was uh, on Monday, January 6th, um, I got a call from my brother, uh, Chris, Chris Woodwell, shootingstarunivers.com, and uh, he told me that dad wasn't really feeling good and I should come over because he might have to go to the hospital. So when I got my clothes on, I rushed over there and he was telling me he wanted to go, he didn't want to go, so he didn't know what to do. So I told him, you know, you're not feeling well, I think we should really take you to the hospital. So as we brought him into the living room, we were putting on his clothes, you know, to help him get ready, and he uh, wasn't moving when we got to the couch. Like, he, his eyes were spaced out, and um, we thought that, we didn't know, like, he was still breathing a little bit, and uh, we did call 911 the ambulance coming and they did come and uh, we took him to the hospital and you know we told them if there's any which way that they can help him you know it would be hopefully for the better so when I was at the hospital with the people who came with me uh, as well my mom was with me one of them um, we, uh, he was having a little trouble breathing, so they put like this face mask on him, and his eyes were everywhere. I mean, we stayed at the hospital till at least 3, 3.30 in the morning, and I told my uh, job that uh, I would take off of work because I want to see if he would get better the next day, and the doctor said he might be a little bit better. I mean, not 100%, but something would be about that he would get better. So, the night I was there, uh, he did see me. I mean, I know his eyes were looking at me, and during the mask that was on him, he, he smiled at me. And, um, I'm sorry if I get emotional in this video, guys. It's just been, it's really just uh, very hard for me to explain this. Uh, so he smiled at me and I told him, I hope you get better, Dad. I really do. So we went home and we said that we were going to be here tomorrow morning or the next day, Tuesday, actually, and uh, hopefully we get better news. So we were, the next day came, Tuesday, January 7th, and it was Tommy's birthday, his sixth birthday, actually. And uh, when we were about to get ready to go to the hospital, we got a call. 
about my dad that he was under cardiac arrest twice and cardiac arrest was when his heart stopped beating twice and his uh, like well, his stomach was like really really small like you could see his uh, you know ribs and all that because when you have like cancer usually you know it, it made him lose weight so they pr try to compress him and one of the bones punctured his lungs when they compressed him and they try to put a tube in there and um, around 11 15 11 30 I believe it was they called us back and they told me that or they told my mom because she was on the phone with them that he passed away and he died so um after that I was devastated we were all devastated I called Ellie yeah, you know, my fiance Ellie poked my girl friend ten. Told her about it. I called my best friend Kevin Shell zero zero zero. I called almost everybody and told them the news about it. And uh, I just I I couldn't believe it that my father died. And uh, it was like I I didn't know what to think or like. I thought that he would get better after all this, but he didn't. So, I mean, that was a story about how he died. Uh, as I'm recording this also on uh, Thursday, January 9th, uh, we went to the wake and a lot of people came. and. Even, by the way, I also posted on Facebook what happened, and I got so many condolences, and I just want to say before I forget in this video, thank you all who are watching this video, who have sent your condolences, um, and whether you came to the wake or not, your condolences mean the world to me. I mean, I mean I've cried so much, I, I don't even know how, how much tears I have left me for this um, but when I was at the wake I had many f friends and family who came uh, during the afternoon and at night um, and there was actually a picture I have two pictures actually that I want to show you that I have of my dad to remember me by and I'm going to share this on my Facebook also and Twitter, probably Twitter. Uh, there's one picture here where on the, uh, me and my bro with kids, I'm on the left and Chris on the right. And the middle there is my dad. That. And the second picture was when we were in Virginia, um, we went to uh, Richmond Town. Uh, where you could see the Washington building from far away. Uh, the, that's my dad all the way to the, uh, the right. I know my lefts and rights. I was in the middle with a camcorder then um, and my brother on the left. And that was years ago. Traveled around. Um, so with that, just want to put my timer back up. So, you know, people say when someone dies, you know, it's, there are some good memories and there's some bad memories. I mean, you know, in families, you know, sometimes, you know, there's sometimes whether we fight or whether we uh, are sad or, we, you know, or we're happy with each other. The only one memory that I want to share about my dad, um, I think it was back in the year uh, 2003 when I was in the hospital and had a calcium tumor on my right leg and got operated and felt better after that. I remember that I walked out, I was on a wheelchair and trying to figure out 
how I was going to get in the car. So what my dad did was he took me out of the wheelchair and literally carried me all the way to the car because, I mean, there was no way I could wheelchair down the stairs or anything. So he, he did that for me. And there were many things he did. He took me where I needed to go. Uh, and he, he, he was a very <laughs> loving father. And um, I mean, we sometimes said the I love yous to each other. I mean, a lot as a kid, but not as much as an adult until recent that we've said that because of his condition. That we said it from time to time. Um, but as the months went by with his walking and his uh, voice slurring a little bit, it was just getting a little bit worse. And, you know, it's just, it's really sad. And he did say also that when he dies, they want to be cremated, and of course we're gonna respect his wishes and get him cremated. Um, I I really just don't know what else to say except except that I miss him. I really do miss him, and it's gonna hurt me a lot. I mean, I wasn't gonna do a video like I said about this or anything because of the way I felt, and um, like I said, I've cried a lot. I mean, Ellie's been on my side helping me when I couldn't sleep at night, and I was there for my mom, especially, because she's very devastated, and that's understandable. And Chris was there for me, too, and, and everybody around me, even at my job, everybody was there for me, and I just can't thank everybody enough that just helped me just to stay strong and the thing that you know a friend of mine told me is that uh, you know to stay strong and and not let pain consume you and with everybody that was so caring about me and everything the condolences and just being there is what made everything much better. And it made me think that, you know, my dad is not in pain anymore. I mean, seeing him in the coffee at the wake is not easy. And it was only for today when I'm recording this video. Um, and that's basically it. I, I'm just going to miss him a lot. And I'm just going to remember that the memories of him are always in here, in my head, in my heart. Always. Um, I really don't want to cry in this video because, I, like I said, I've cried many, many times already. And I'm just very sad about this. Um, also, uh, Chris did a video about our dad also. Um, I'll probably put a link in the description so you can see uh, his video, his point of view of him. But it's just, it just doesn't feel real when someone I've known for 30 years I mean, that, it's almost my birthday on the 14th where I'm going to be 31, like 30 years, just, it takes a lot out of you, you know? And I thought I would never think of doing a video of this saying that my dad passed away, you know? But his condition was just getting worse, and for him, that fought all this for two years instead of nine months after hearing the news two years ago? of the single cell cancer he was a fighter and I know that he's still around sometimes I, I, I felt him for the past two nights or after he died on January 7th 
<coughs> excuse me. So, I'm going to end it here before anything else. Uh, just once again, your condolences and everything. Thank you, for those of you who are watching this. And just for everything. And <sighs> well, way to start a new year. The year 2020 of this. Hoping things will get a little bit better as months go by. Like I said, it's, it's really hard doing this video and couldn't do it for the past two nights and I said I have to be strong and I have to try and do it. And this is the time to do it. Right now. So, that'll be it. So, with that, just letting you know, I know you're watching this, Dad in Heaven. I love you, Dad. I'll always love you. And I'll always remember the memories we had together. And I just hope that you're looking down at me and smiling. I'll always pray for you. I go to church on Sundays. I'll always pray for you and still will. And hopefully everything will be okay. I, I just don't know what else to say in this video. Alright, <clears throat> so I'm Durak18, and this is a video. If you want to leave your condolences in the comments, you're more than welcome to. Thank you again for, like I said, condolences, any, every, everything and anything. You know who you are if you're watching this. And I'm going to go now. So, like I said, no edits in this video. Just walked in. And I'm gonna walk out. And so take care. And as always, if my dad were here too, he'd say this with me as well. Don't forget to rock on. Later, everybody. Dad, I'll always love you. Always. You're in God's hands now, pain free. And I hope to see you someday in the future when it's my turn. Later, everyone.